Holy cow. We have got a huge water moccasin here. Wow, that is a massive snake. Ooh, did you see that? Yeah. This is the largest water moccasin I have ever seen. An incredibly dangerous snake. With the setting of the hot Florida sun comes the rise of its nocturnal predators. Some of these creatures, like the American alligator, are not the kind of foe you would ever want to stumble upon while out exploring in the Everglades. And despite the fact that alligators rarely attack humans, their natural instinct is to hunt under the cover of darkness. All the more reason to steer clear of their environments at night. On this humid evening, we are back en route towards civilization after filming a selection of sunset B-roll shots. Traveling the back roads at night, believe it or not, is actually a great place to stumble upon a variety of snake species that slither up from the swampy waters and onto the asphalt to absorb the daytime's remaining heat. Much to our delight, this is exactly the scenario we encountered, and you are now about to witness one of America's most dangerous snakes. Holy cow, okay. I got the GoPro rolling. Mario, yeah. get the lights, get the lights. Give me that snake tong. We have got a huge water moccasin. Here, here, here. Give me this, give me this. Here. It is right in the middle of the road. Go slow, go slow. Mark, kill the car. Keep the lights on though. Holy cow. That is the biggest water moccasin I have ever seen. Wow. Look at that snake. That thing is huge. All right, we're gonna wait until we've got the lights out. Massive water moccasin just in front of us here. You can't tell how big it is on the GoPro, but it is massive. That is a huge water moccasin. Oh, 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 he's starting to move. He's curling into a tighter ball. I'm gonna try to come on this side of it. That's exactly what we want right there. See how it's curling up into a tight little ball? Perfect defensive pose right there. Wow, that is a massive snake. That's the water moccasin for you right there. The quintessential cotton mouth. I'm definitely gonna keep my snake tongs in between me and the snake. These snakes are capable of striking up to three feet in length. It will lunge its entire body forward. You can see it's puffing itself up right now, trying to be bigger, saying, I'm a big snake. Yes, we are aware that you are a big snake. In fact, this is the largest water moccasin I have ever seen. Mario, go ahead and zoom in on the back of his tail there. See that little wiggling of the tail? Mimicking the movements of a rattlesnake, trying to warm me back up. I am agitated. You can see he's puffing up his body now. Woo! Woo! Did you see that? Yeah. I barely even moved, brought the snake tongs back and it struck at me. Look at the position that his head is in right now. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I just wanna test the distance of his strike here. So he's gonna strike again. Okay. He's got his back to you, Mark, which is good for you. Not necessarily good for me. Oh, you see that? Another strike. Okay, I've kinda tested his limits. He's still got an okay shot there? Yeah. Look at how heavy body this snake is. There's no way you would mistake a water moccasin of this size for just a normal water snake. And oftentimes those two species are confused for each other. As you guys know, we've done an episode in the past, we've compared the water moccasin to the water snake. And at that point we compared two snakes that are of similar size. This thing is an absolute giant. And one way to easily identify a moccasin when it's fully adult like this, look at the banding right on the side of the face. Mario, see if you can zoom in on that there. Oh, wow, just bit the tongs, did you see that? Okay, completely spun its body around. Go ahead and zoom in there, get a good shot. Let me get on my feet, he's a little closer than I'd yep. be when laying on the ground. Right? Now, if the snake does decide to take off, Mario and Mark, you both just get up and I'll, I'll get a hold of it with the tongs or, or get in front of it. There you go, now you can get a better idea of just how long this snake is. I'd say it's close to three and a half feet in length. Ooh, an incredibly dangerous snake. 
Now, when I say this moccasin is big, it's almost an understatement. I wanna give you guys something for scale. What I'm gonna do is actually move the GoPro with the snake tongs in close to the snake. Oh, jeez, struck right out at the camera. I guess he doesn't like GoPros. So you can have something in there for scale. Can you see that? Oh yeah. So that's a GoPro next to the head of that snake. The snake's head is almost as large as the GoPro is. When it comes to the girth of its body, I would say in circumference, it's probably close to six or seven inches and the length of the snake is around three to three and a half feet. This is without question the largest water moccasin I've ever seen. Now, as we know, the water moccasin has a very popular nickname, the cottonmouth. What they'll oftentimes do is curl up in a tight ball and then bend their head back and gape their mouth open. The inside of the mouth is bright white, just like a cotton ball. And as we know, that bright white coloration is aposematic, warning any predator that this bright color means that I am potentially toxic. Now, when you're talking copperheads versus water moccasins versus rattlesnakes, I would say that the water moccasin is pretty much right there in the middle when it comes to toxicity. Armed with a hemotoxic venom, and if you were bitten by this snake, there's no question about it, you were going to find yourself on the way to the hospital. All right, Mario, go ahead and zoom in on the snake's head. See how he's got his head positioned up like that and has a very triangular shape to it. Almost looks like the spade of a shovel, the front of a shovel. That signifies that this is a venomous snake. I know we featured this snake species on the channel before, but most of those have been small to medium sized. So as we were just driving out of the Everglades here and we saw the snake, we had to stop the vehicle, get the lights out, get the cameras, and get a couple of really cool shots. All right, that's exactly what we want right there. He says, curled himself up into a bit of a tighter ball. We're getting it. Oh. Oh. Okay, or he's ready to strike and he just completely bit down and wrapped his head around the snake tongs. Look at all Doused the venom on the tongs. The tongs, let me get a shot of that real quick. That's crazy. Wow, that's a lot of venom. Yeah. Now you may be asking yourself, what is this snake doing in the center of the road like this at night? We actually just finished filming sunset B-roll shots. We're getting ready to drive ourselves out of the Everglades and here's this giant right in the middle of the road. What the snakes will do at night is come out and lay on the asphalt to warm up. Now the water moccasin is primarily a nocturnal species. So what's getting ready to do now is after it heats up, it's gonna head off into this underbrush and it's gonna begin hunting. Now, as a semi-aquatic pit viper, they have a really incredible opportunity to be in the water and hunting for things like fish and amphibians. Now, as compared to the other venomous pit vipers that we have in the United States, like rattlesnakes and copperheads, this is the only one that's actually capable of spending a significant amount of time in the water. Well, at this juncture, I think it's probably best that we gently move the snake off the side of the road so another car doesn't come and accidentally run it over. This is a pristine specimen when it comes to the quintessential water moccasin. How cool is this? Stumbling upon one of the most notorious pit vipers here in the Everglades. I'm Kyrie Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, buddy, let's move you off the road here. <laughs> Came right at me. All right, there we go. The snake is now safely on the side of the road. He's gonna disappear into the underbrush and continue his night of hunting. See you later, big guy. Of all the venomous snake species in the United States, it is a valid statement to say that the water moccasin is one of the most dangerous. They are quick striking and incredibly defensive if cornered. Their venom is not the most potent, however, when they deliver a bite, it usually comes with a powerful punch and a heavy yield of toxins that will most certainly send you to the hospital. It's important that you never try to catch or harass one of these snakes. And if you see one in the wild, remember that like all slithering reptiles, they simply want to be left alone. And if you walk in the opposite direction, your encounter with a notorious cottonmouth will be a completely safe one. If you want to learn more about the cottonmouth, the first place to start is knowing how to properly identify one. So make sure to go back and watch the episode where we show you the difference between a water snake and a water moccasin. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. 
Ah, oh, my nerves are going. 